today I thought I'd share with you my Super Robot Chukokin Grandizer. Uh, this was made by Bandai from the UFO series uh, anime mecha television show, which I've watched a few times, but you know, if you know me, I'm just a fan of robots in general. Not all robots, but just certain ones, and this one has been a long time coming. I've been really excited and waiting to uh, for this figure to come out, and I'm just, uh, man, I'm just overwhelmed with it. Uh, just by looking at the box, I'm so happy that I got it. I got it off Amazon. Uh, it was just a little over $50 with free shipping, so uh, I know a lot of you guys may think that that's expensive, but uh, you got to remember, there's die-cast content inside this robot. Really looking forward to cracking this guy open, so let's take a look at it. Okay, here's a good look at the inside packaging, uh, what you actually get. All of the different uh, hands, and there is a uh, lightning effect, I think that's called Space Thunder. And uh, to be honest with you, I wasn't aware that this pack came with the uh, with the rocket punch effect, so uh, that's an added bonus for me also. There you can get a good look at Grandizer. And uh, also came with this pack. Very nice accessories. And on the inside is the, uh, the instructions. And here's Grandizer out of the packaging. Uh, I have to say, even, you know, just right off the get go, as soon as I opened the box up and seen this figure, it was a. Uh, it was a, a pleasant surprise. Uh, you know, everyone gets these uh, figures with a few imperfections on them, but I've yet to find one on this one. Uh, uh, the other, I've got a couple of the other Super Robot Chikokin figures that has a, just a couple of blemishes on them, but this one, uh, this one seems to be top notch. As far as the die cast content is concerned, uh, here on the back, uh, wherever there's a a, uh, a covered up hole, or you can actually see a screw there. That's uh, that's where the metal content's at. There's just a couple of these uh, effects here that are, that are also posable, which uh, is uh, very cool when you get it back in close on the uh, on the actual joints themselves. And to add the uh, the other accessories, it's as simple as uh, as taking this off and just inserting that one in. The thing about these Bandai Super Robots are the uh, just the dynamic posing and the accessories that they come with. It's uh, you really do get what you pay for. And here's with the other accessory with the uh, with the shooting effect. Just simply uh, taking out the fist and adding this into it. And uh, once again, these are really sharp uh, to the point to where they will just about pierce your skin. Uh, very well made accessories. Okay, for displaying this weapon, uh, it actually does come with these pieces on the shoulder uh, to simulate uh, them actually being inside the robot. Uh, you just simply take these off uh, just for looks and connect the, uh, the two pieces together for the, uh, for the weapon itself. How cool is that? Once again, uh, the range of movement on these uh, figures are uh, are just unbelievable. And here's the Space Thunder effect. Uh, you simply uh, unpeg the horns from the head and attach the uh, this piece. Very, very cool, very visual. And striking uh, effect and accessory that comes with this piece also and 
And here's a look at the three Super Robot Jacokin figures that I have. Uh, I've had the Great Mazinga and the Mazinga figure, the Mazinga Z figure for a long time. Uh, still happy with them. Uh, excellent figures. Uh, I've said this more than once, you get what you pay for. Uh, yeah, most people might think that they're kind of pricey, but you got to remember that these are also, they have die-cast content with them also, along with some really well-made accessories and just an all-around great collectible if you're a fan of uh, anime mecha or robots in general. I'm not much of a reviewer. Uh, I just thought I'd give you just a quick look at the uh, figure itself. If you'd like to see a complete review of it, check out Optimus Prime SG. There'll be a link in the description for a full review on this figure. So guys, that's it. I really do appreciate everybody watching. If you've got any comments or questions, just post them, and I'll answer them the best that I can. And that's all I have today for my collection.